hello guys in this video we will learn how to export you know excel files can be one file can be more than one file so in order to do that and using a file called e sales data consists of you know variables called date sales rep customer product code sales amount right and it consists of duplicates duplicate records so currently there are 49 records so that is why i have used unique tool right now i want to you know remove the duplicates from this particular file and then uh, you know export the unique file unique record as well as the duplicated record to a folder on my you know system so just hit run button for now and let us see what is the output you go to you which is output of you know a unique tool there are 30 unique records out of 49 and if you go to d which is duplicate there are 19 records now i want to export both these you know uh, records of unique as well as duplicated records to a folder present on my system so in order to do that go to in and out select the output data drag it and drop it onto a canvas link it with you right and again take one more output data drag it and drop it onto a canvas and link it with D right so because we need two output one for unique and one for duplicated that is why I have used two you know output data tool so once you click on this output data tool it will open a pop-up window where it will ask about the path right part to write the file just click on this drop down it will open a pop up window where it will ask you about the file right or the path go to file now select click on select file it will open a you know pop up window and then uh, here you can write the name of the file say and you can also choose the folder suppose i want to write it in a folder called unique records write the name of file here say unique sales data right make sure you, uh, the file type is correct here click on save it will open one more pop-up window where it will ask you about the sheet which you want to export the data so right now i want to export in sheet one you can rename it at, as uh, data or anything else you can select the range as well from here and then click ok then it will show you some of the options right in the configuration panel just scroll a little bit to the right and let's see what are different options available here so first it will ask you about the file type which is xlsx do you want to create new sheet or write an existing sheet overwrite an existing sheet do you want to append it to some existing sheet and so on you can explore this right now i will choose overwrite file or remove so whenever this workflow will run it will overwrite the you know exported file again and again right if you do not choose this option and if you keep on running this workflow it will throw an error so on a safer side if you if you want to you know replace that file or choose this overwrite option then go here select the second file for duplicate records again do the same process click on drop down select a file go to the same folder right here duplicated sales data click save it will again open that pop-up window to write the sheet name and range click ok it will open the configuration panel and again here it will ask create new overwrite file overwrite sheet and append sheet so here i will choose overwrite file click here click on the overwrite file and then hit run button it will export both the files to your folder right, so this is done 